Hello, this is Avi again. Topic for my uh, presentation today is on how to query S objects that are related in Salesforce by a master detail or by a lookup relationship um, using Sockle and Apex code. Obviously, this is not a new topic by any means, but this is so fundamental, so essential to using S objects in Salesforce that I felt the need to create this a small video in a hope that I, I can help others. So how do we query a parent S object in a relationship? Um, the answer is simple by specifying the lookup relationship name. Um, followed by a dot notation and the field that you are after and the child as object name followed by the rest of where conditions. On the flip side, if you need to query child fields in that relationship, we need to nest a query for child as objects using the relationship and this is your parent S object that you're working with. To demonstrate um, this, I have created two custom objects, um, car maker and car model. And as name suggests, car maker consists of um, car makers. In my case, I have inserted two sample records, one for Ford, and another one for Honda and they have corresponding car models for Ford I have Focus and Escort and for Honda I have created two records by name Civic and Accord so with that background let me quickly show you in my dev org the these two custom objects so here is car maker um, with all the standard fields name being the prominent one and I don't have any custom fields or relationship but if you go back to car model you will see that I have created a custom lookup field called car maker which points a relationship back to car maker parent as object and the child relationship name is called car models so if you are referred to this relationship in your um, code you're going to say car maker underscore underscore r and to refer this um, you're going to say car models underscore underscore r so I think with that context let's go to uh, my developers org and create um, some anonymous code first to traverse up to the parent object so if you were to write a circle query from child s object you will say select model name and then to go to parent s object you will say car oops if you go back and refer the name is car maker so car maker underscore underscore r and followed by the dot notation and the field name name so you got model name and the car makers name and from s object oops, from child s object which is car model and you can put some condition to say where car model name is say focus now in apex you can store this query to an object 
of type car model and give a name to say car model. So this is how we query parent a field from parent a parent s object. Now to gain access, so in my case we can print it to gain access to this parent field. Let's say car maker is to gain access we are going to use this s object variable name and the relationship name and the field name so let's quickly execute and see the results now expectation is to see the car maker name being Ford So there you go, car maker is Ford. So that's how we navigate up to a parent S object. Now, similarly, if you need to traverse down to query child S object, let's, let's create another select name of car maker and then since you may have more than one car models right for this car maker let's select all the car models from the child relationship so car models and you are wor working on car maker custom object and you can specify a where condition where name of the car maker is say Ford now let's store this in an object of type car maker and say car maker so now we just queried car maker's name and by way of the child relationship we queried all the models associated for this car maker. Now since there may be more than one car models let's store them into a list object of car maker and give a name say car maker oh, I meant to say car model and store all the queried models by way of traversing up by using this object and then getting two child objects um, using the relationship name and the dot notation and the field name. So we just gained access to all the queried car models. So now we got this. Now we can print to see how many car models did we get access to in the first statement. So we can do a for loop, right? Um, and it has to be a type car model and say car model and run through all the car models that we gained access to and say print car model is and we can print using the variable name dot name actually here we don't need name because we are getting the entire object so that was a mistake um, so hopefully this should work so again we are getting all the car models using the child relationship and there we are gaining access and storing them in a list 
and then we are running through a loop to print all the car models that we retrieved. So with that let's execute and the expectation is that we should see all the car models for Ford. In our case that should be Focus and Escort. So there you go. Um, so hopefully this was helpful uh, session for you and if it was please uh, send me your feedback and give me a thumbs up and until next time saying goodbye. Take care.